Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Alright, so it's today is July 22nd. It's about 4.15 p.m. Eastern here in U.S. I want to bring you an update for Cardano ADA against USD pair. Uh, the calculation is done by TradingView and this data is coming from Binance. Okay, I uh, want to bring you this update and give you what are some, some, of, some of the scenarios going into next week and, um, and into the end of July. Okay. So before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit those notification and the bell icon on the video channels uh, so you can get this content right away as soon as I upload them on YouTube. Um, and you know, if you have any questions, if you have, if you think you're learning from this video, if you think you have uh, applied some of this knowledge uh, from this video, then uh, please do share it with your friends and family. Uh, let your friends, uh, your co-worker know about it, put it in the comments that really gives me motivation and tells me that I'm doing the right thing and I'm on the right track by sharing this uh, content with you um, so that's the purpose of this channel again to educate uh, users like you uh, investors like you who are just getting started um, because when I started about 20 years ago in trading um, in stock market um, I never had this kind of guidance and I didn't have this kind of like day-to-day -day content um, so I, I I wish to do my part and you know hopefully you can learn from it okay uh, so right now uh, Cardano is trading at around 17 cents uh, in the previous video that I made on Cardano I mentioned that there is a double bottom uh, the 12 cents uh, support is fairly strong in Cardano and it has hold uh, it did hold up um, and we had this intermediate resistance line which was coming from the uh, you know early July time frame and we're getting close um, for that breakout of the trend line um, so that exactly that happened uh, about a week ago we broke this trend line look at the volume if you see this volume uh, graph it has been gradually going up all right and that is a very positive sign that's what you want to see in a breakout that happens um, in this uh, like you know in the double bottom patterns and any of this like you know breakout patterns you want to see those volume bar going up that's a that's a good confirmation that you know uh, the sellers are dying and the remainder uh, remainings are the buyers so keep those things in mind um, when you are looking into the other coins as well so now uh, what we are seeing is uh, previously we tried to uh, we went to a previous resistance point around 20 cents um, you know uh, and you know it dried out pretty much at that point it was it got a little bit extended too much too fast we had a nice pullback uh, a couple of days ago and now we are seeing uh, we are getting a nice bounce uh, from the 50 day support and the uh, uh, what do you call it uh, 11 day moving average so we're uh, we're seeing a couple of nice you know uh, uh, support line um, moving day averages that providing the support um, the other good thing is like the uh, 11 day moving average and the 20 day moving average if we continue on this path they will cross 50 day moving average on the upside um, and that's a bullish thing a lot of that will trigger a lot of the trading algorithms in a pattern that hey in the short term we might see potential more gains um, so that those are all the you know positive signs for Cardano um, what we need to see is we need to like have a nice follow through okay we need to have the nice follow through from this 17 18 cents mark and break the previous high which was around 20 cents if we can get this break the previous high of around 20 cents we can the next level of resistance that i'm seeing will be around the 22 23 cents okay i'm going to move this up a little bit uh, that's going to be around 22 23 cents and that's a pretty decent target if you like from um, from this junction right here um, if you are adding on to the position or if you are just getting started with the position please make sure you go with the smaller amount or going with your stop losses just because we are seeing a nice positive momentum doesn't mean that you know everything like you know everything is going to be nice and rosy uh, again we want to be cautiously optimistic at this level we don't want to be overly confident um, just like you know the lot of bears were overly confident that at those level like you know at um, 6000 level at bitcoin people are talking about that bitcoin was going to 3000 so same thing the same rule applies to the bulls we don't want to be overly confident we want to make sure that 
we are trading on probability and not getting uh, you know caught up on hypes that's the main thing that you want to like avoid not getting caught up on hypes so please do make sure on that as far as the support goes about 15 cents uh, 16 cents will be a good support for uh, cardano um, right now it's leading the pack uh, for the altcoin um, it's one of the coin that is actually up almost today cardano is up almost seven eight percent which is fairly good compared to a lot of other altcoins so it's really leading the pack uh, for the altcoin um, and let's see if we can get some momentum if the if you see a positive market tonight and into tomorrow morning uh, cardano definitely have a nice uh, momentum early into the week and we can p perhaps see that 22 and 23 cents uh, early into the week for cardano okay uh, we do need a overall positive market and it's so far it's fairly looking good so i don't see any major hurdle um only thing that we need to do is leave just need to digest some of this uh, you know gains that we had and this is bitcoin by the way i just moved to bitcoin i want to quickly cover bitcoin so in the previous video i mentioned that you know the uh, the 77000 level that will be the resistance 77 78000 so do keep in mind on that uh, mindful of those resistance level when Bitcoin come to those level um, and if there is not enough volume coming into the market you know we might see a pullback and if we see a pullback in Bitcoin that will directly you know correlate with um, Cardano and a lot of other coins so you know you know compare those coins side by side and make sure when Bitcoin is coming to that 77,000 7700 mark if we are not seeing enough volume then that's a sign that you know we might see a short-term pullback and that will reflect into a lot of altcoins like cardano okay so do keep that in mind and that's when i say you have to put your stop losses or go in with a smaller position okay um so you know i hopefully this is something that is you're applying in your trading you're learning from it it's a it's not a something that you will learn overnight you know professional traders have blown away so many accounts i cannot even tell you before like uh you know they can really master the trade and uh it's all about habits you know it's all about the habits that you create uh you know and it's really you know the habits that you're creating right now that will really will stick with you uh, in a lot of other investing that you do in your life so remember that and hopefully that will serve you well uh, so let me know if you have any questions comments uh, post in the uh, video section and i will uh, reply to them all right talk to you soon